welcome to another episode we are doing our annual trip we do this trip once a year where we come to a private 100 acre lake that is a nature preserve just a, a weird acquaintance I met and uh, I come out once a year I don't want to wear it out wear out my welcome so I just come once every April usually in accordance with the crappie spawn it's a big wide open lake with lots of uh, standing timber old trees that are still standing we've never had a bad here uh, bad day out here this is our fourth try it's our fourth year in a row doing it we always catch 50 plus crappie they're all 12 and 13 inches we always get a six or seven pound bass so it's gonna be a good day we waited one week longer than we normally do we, we usually do it on April Fool's Day and uh, we decided to do it wait one extra week and I'm glad because last Saturday was really cold I'm talking it didn't get out of the 40s last Saturday so glad that we waited we're gonna get parked here we're gonna unload everything get the canoe down got the trolling motor got everything we need minnows Spinner baits, top waters, crank baits, soft plastics, you name it, we got it. Variety of different lines, all the way ranging from four pound to 17 pound line. I gotta open this gate and let ourselves in here. Never had to warm up is what it is. Just like last time, they didn't start biting till lunchtime. All right guys, first black crappie of the day. It's a nice one, it's a beauty. It is a beautiful black in complete spawning colors, charcoal all around. Look at this, honey, black, 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 gray. Look at that. Black cheeks. I want to tell you guys something. We've been here for four hours. We got here at eight in the morning. We just now started catching fish. The, it's straight east winds, very cold and brutal. There's been an algae bloom on this lake. This lake is normally crystal clear. There is no visibility whatsoever. Lure fishing is out of the question. We got a lot of things against this. I've never seen this water brown, not once in my life. We're trying to get too close trying to get too close stay further away than that look at that beauty all right blue cooler just pop the lid on it for me by the lip hold on get a picture of me here there you go heck yeah oh my huh. good lord i got a fish already I didn't even reel it in yet. I got you too. No, I don't. Oh my God. I thought I was wrapped around you. Guess how I caught him? Bobby Garland with a bobber. It didn't, I didn't even start reeling it in yet. It's as soon as it hit the water, Wilma. Orange dream sickle guys under a bobber. This is a very it's finally worked for me. William does this all the time with crappie jigs, and I never did any good. Look at that, it sinks. What do I I guess I gotta use a bigger bobber? Look, it sinks. Yep, I gotta get a bigger bobber out. That ain't good. Tell you what, give me your fish. 
big one. <laughs> That's a female there because it's real pale. I got a male and you got a female. It just took for that water to warm up a couple of degrees. They're moving in now. Don't move. Be careful. I got the camera on the... All right, guys, it's on. Okay, do the, uh, yeah. Four already. Okay, I gotta get a bigger float. You gotta learn to quit picking the fish up. When you got four pound line, you can't do what you're doing. You can't flip them. They're gonna break the line. You're gonna weaken that line. You can't do that with four pound line. You're gonna have to leave more slack and ski the fish in and grab it by the mouth. You can't do that. You're gonna regret it. I can't. Hold on, my screen is so dusty I can't see it. No, you didn't saw the fish good enough yet. Hold on. Down. Okay. Can't believe I broke my damn jig already. Son of a bitch. Female. Yep, that's a nice crappie. God, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man! I just wasted all that time. Definitely a big one. Fixing that up. Oh my! Oh, he's thirteen, isn't he? They're all twelves, I think. Once in a while, you get a thirteen. nice black good yeah that's definitely 13 oh there went my minnow god he was still alive too you gotta fish real shallow or you're gonna get hung like that see good god we're gonna go through every hook and bobber we own Cooler. Let me guess. Hook and wait. Yep. Hook and wait. You need to set your bobber shallower. Hey, shallow. Look at that. Set it shallower. Slab. Black male again. Another male. I don't know, maybe not. That might be a female. <sighs> Calm down, man. Dude, we get it. There went my minnow again.
Can't even get him off without pliers. Definitely a big one. God, it's so windy. That's a really black one. How did you fix? I don't understand how did you fix your pole up so fast. If I just seen your bobber break off. God! Holy cow, Wilma! Seven pound bass! Oh my God! Oh my God! Wilma! Whoa! <laughs> oh! 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 It broke my line! It broke my hook off! I thought it was a crappie! He wasn't even fighting! Until he jumped and I seen what it was, he broke my hook at the very end! That was a seven pound bass. Did you see it? Oh my God, guys. That would have really made my day. That was one of the biggest ones I'd seen out here. You're looking up. Oh my. For a little bit. There we go. Crappie. Look at his skiing. <laughs> skiing across the whole top didn't you now, i really want you to give me my minnow back this time the minnow always falls off right here you're gonna get hung you got one ah uh. Your minnow so big, I think, is the problem. Too big for crappie. If you're gonna get one, it's gonna be a big fish. I would think not in one like this. Cooler. That's a big one there. That's a big fat one. Oh yeah. Man. There we go. Big and thick. Oh my. That's a thick one there, guys. I gotta change my battery again. Pretty soon, it's 20%. Nice one. No giants, but they're all 12. Cooler. Oh. 
Not bad. Huh? Huh? They're all decent, ain't they? They're all 12. God, it's a big crappie there. Man, that's one of the best ones of the day right there. I'll hold the camera out here in a second. If I don't get a bite, I'll bring in my thing back in. God, she's got a beautiful crappie here. Try to uh, lean the tail out more where it looks, uh, it's really hard. I can't get a good view of you. Hold on, let me set my pole down. Do like that. There you go. I don't need this drag this loose. Well, I mean, I like it loose. Oh, he's about to come off. This is a female. They're definitely spawning if they're that shallow. I'm about to lose this fish. Oh, God. I may lose it. It won't give me a chance to grab the lip. There we go. Oh, this one's already laid her eggs. Look. This is a female, and it's real thin on the bottom. That is definitely a spawned out crappie. All right, guys, these crappie have already spawned. This is a female, without a doubt, and it's just paper thin on the bottom. She has already laid her eggs. It is April the 6th here in southern Missouri. Spawned out. Cooler. What we got? How many you think? 15? Another female. This is the smallest one of the day. This one's only about nine inches. I'm gonna put this one back. Eh, not really, I guess. It's 10. Man, this thing engorged this hook bad. I'm gonna have to have pliers for sure. It ruined my chance of reusing this minnow. I could have reused this minnow if this wouldn't have happened. Uh, cooler again. <coughs> Alright guys, another another 12 inch female. It's not the smallest fish of the day. I want to try it with the same minnow on there. It's probably dead, but I don't even care. They, they don't care. They're biting that good. They ain't gonna. They're gonna hit it as it's fall. Man, that's a nice male there. There we go. Indeed, that's a big one. Oh my, look how black he, see they, a week ago would have been better, but it was so cold last Saturday, we would not have wanted to be here. Remember how cold it was? Where we just stayed home. Remember we didn't do nothing. Wasn't that Sunday? Yeah, we hunted mushrooms Sunday. It was so cold Saturday, you couldn't have done nothing. Real cold. Man, he's kind of beat up. 
that is a beautiful male right there. That's a beautiful male crappie. Yeah, these fish, I believe they spawned last weekend, guys, just by the looks of them. They've lost a lot of their color. They're still, the males are still jet black, but we've learned at this place, it's always right on April Fool's Day is when you want to come to get the peak of the colors. Okay, cooler again. Sorry. We're getting them though, they're adding up now. Uh huh? I think it's another male. I think. It's a nice one there though. That's one of the, that's a thick look how thick this one is. That one's really fat. Oh my. And I did not get my minnow back. It flew off somewhere. Oh, right there. I can almost grab it. Come here. Got it. I got my minnow back. Yes. All right, guys. Another 12-inch black. These, these crappie are the perfect size. And the perfect color right now. Only caught one crappie today on a jig. It's just, it's too snaggy of a lake to lure fish. And these fish are so shallow right now. They're in one foot of water. Uh, cooler again. We got about 20 something. I'd say 20. Wouldn't you? I don't care if this minnow is completely dead, I'm using it again. I can't cast very hard or he'll fall, fly off. This is a slab because I, I can tell by the way he's reeling in. Yep, that's a slab. That's my biggest one of the day right here, I think. Dang close. Man. Yeah, he's a he's a thirteen. Finally got me a thirteen. This thing is real tall too. Guys, we struggled to find these fish before lunchtime, but it has been non-stop ever since. I think she's got one right now, no? male definitely a male God. <coughs> I can't really record you but I can try I didn't get a good picture of you at all Yep. It was as soon as it hit the water and the wind was blowing the bobber real hard to the side. Still bit it. It's a female. There went my minnow. Damn. 
Uh, come here. Got the minnow back. That's twice I got the minnow back with the net, with the little net. All right, female guys. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Look at that. They're all right at 12. Right at 12 inches. Cooler again. I'm not even, I've lost count, but I know we gotta have 25. I'd say tw we got 25 in there. We must have just caught them all back in there. Boy, he about got me in that stick. <sighs> can limit out on crappie by four and then just go around with a damn spinnerbait and try to get a giant bass. Another 12 inch crappie guys. I don't have to even say the length anymore there. Every single one is exactly 12. Once in a while 13. Really no other size. No smaller ones. No bigger ones. They're pretty much cookie cutters, but they're a good, good size. If I was to want one all the same size, it would be 12 and 13. cooler that's a big crappie oh my gosh mm. oh my another nice male <coughs> it's a really nice male here guys oh yeah No minnow, darn. Be nice to catch two fish on one minnow, but I guess that ain't the theme of the day. Ooh. Another nice male black. All of them are nice. cooler again <coughs> another male 12 inches everyone's 12 oh shit hold on ow my legs hold on god he won't give me a chance to grab it okay <sighs> oh my god you see that he attacked it he came up and attacked it. I seen him come out of the water completely. For the Bobby Garland. <laughs> I was hung up and I pulled real hard and it, the Bobby Garland come flying out of the water. And as soon as it landed, he came up and grabbed it. Crazy. Look at that, honey. Second one, finally, Bobby Garland under a float, guys. Orange dream sickle. Another, he may be, that's about a 13 inch male right there. 
Oh my. A second don't make any sudden big movements anyway I should say all right guys second crappie of the day up with a Bobby Garland finally that dream sickle delight under a float exactly 12 inches down 1 8 yellow and orange jig head Okay. Third fish on a Bobby Garland, guys. <laughs> I forced myself to learn this method. My buddy does it under a float all the time, and I never have any luck. And finally today, I've caught three doing it. It has to be very windy is the secret to it. When it's too windy to fish the jig normal is when you should be doing this. It does work. I'll give it that. <coughs> orange bobber, orange jig head, orange jig. There's something crappie like about orange. <laughs> Another 12 inch male. Oh, you got one. There you go. Now, oh man. Good God. I don't understand. How come I'm not getting hung as much as you? You got yours deeper than me or something again. Because I'm not getting hung like that. I've managed to keep the same hook on mine for like 40 minutes. Oh, you didn't get the bobber either. Goodness gracious, man. We have lost six bobbers. God. About two out of three is male. Three out of four is males. The males are guarding the nest. There's only a short period of time. It's the females first, then the males come and guard the nest after the eggs are there. Look how dark he is. That's so cool looking, look. Jet black. Again, cooler. Yeah, hold on. That's a big female. It's thick. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Oh my god, you see that? He that fish had me hung up in the same place again. And I just let go and he swam out of it. Look how black it that's the blackest one we've caught. His whole bottom is oh my god. His entire bottom, look at that. Look at his cheeks. It looks like someone took a magic marker to him. 
Oh my God. I'm gonna get a close up of that. Yep, definitely the blackest one we've caught. His cheeks are entirely black. God. All right, guys, blackest fish of the day. All right, before you throw it, hold on. Do the cooler thing again. I'd say 31, 32. I'm trying to keep track. I'm gonna try to start counting. I'm gonna say 32. You know what it is? They're getting blacker as the day goes on. We've seen that before, though, look. Because they're starting to get real dark black. It has something to do with the sun or just water temperature or something warming up. Beautiful black crappies, guys. Just no words for them, honestly. That's big for here. She finally got a 14 inch fish, guys. Okay. Definitely hold that up. Make your point to go that way and make your left arm go out further. You got one hand back from the other one like this. That way the fish is straight. Bring the tail out more. Like you was doing with two hands, but you need to you're, you're holding the fish like this instead of straight. You need to bring the tail out towards me. That arm out more. The whole that whole arm out more towards me, but not that arm. You need to bring this arm longer than the other arm because the fish is like this. I'm seeing the fish at an angle. You still don't understand. I don't understand. Come that way. It's hard for me. Right there. Hold that pose. Big crappie, guys. Okay. Halfway in. Didn't understand. We can get hopefully 10 more right here and we'll have 40 something. That's why I'm doing this, and then, oops. well, basically it's it's four o'clock right now. By five, I just want to fish for bass for two hours with the spinner bait. I'm just gonna go move all around, covering ground. Just let the wind basically blow me, and we might get lucky and get a big seven pounder. You got everything fixed back up? You need a hook? Okay, hold on. Alright guys, another 12 inch black crappie. Alright, you open the cooler and then I'll get you a hook.
That won't last you very long, I can tell you that right now. Big black male. Oh my god, they keep getting blacker, man. His whole bottom. Jet black, guys. That is so cool. I mean jet black, like you took a magic marker to him. Look at that. Awesome. That is one of the coolest looking ones of the whole day right here. This fish, without a doubt. Look at that. One of the blackest ones for sure. <clears throat> nice fish. Caught probably 50 right here, guys. Just in this one corner of the lake. cooler again all right, that's all that matters there he went oh i seen him come up after it again the minnow was on the very top swimming see this is why you don't want to wait i'm telling you it's whoa look at this one honey look how black look he's by you look at that oh my gosh they, they bite better and better as the day goes on, and they get blacker as the day goes on, guys. And I may get a third chance at this minnow. Wow. Absolute. Black beast right there. All right, cooler again. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> yeah, we did, we ended up doing really good. And you don't gotta thin through the crappie here. That's the good thing. You know, every time you, you get one, it's a keeper. It ain't like some of them are seven or eight or nine. They're all 12, every dang one. They're carbon copies, but it's fun. I wish they were one. There you go. Crappie? Yeah. Looks like a female for one. Yeah. That's a female. Females are real pale looking compared to the male. Not as much black on them. Doubles, guys. I got the male, she got the female. Wow, this thing swallowed the hook. Bad. Yep, got to use pliers on him. <sighs> Guys, we both just got, we definitely got our numbers up now above, I'd say at least we're at 40. I'll go ahead and hold it open. Oh, I got to get that minnow back off. I can reuse him. He's barely hanging on. I can hear them mowing or something. I got him that time. Oh man, it's a slab. That is a slab. Oh my. Finally, I got you. Yeah, you thought you was being sneaky. I bet you got another minnow down there, don't you? Gosh. That's a big female, actually. Yeah, that's a big female. Look at that. Females are a little bigger. 
every one that we've caught that's 13 by just a nose hair is usually a female. my battery and then I need a cooler cooler drop again <laughs> gotta get you out of them sticks boy yeah yeah come skiing yeah <laughs> Uh, we just caught every fish in one corner of the lake. 100 acre lake. We could fish the whole lake. We just stay in one corner the whole day. <laughs> That's how that works, though. Well, it probably would have been a waste of time moving all around as windy as it is and muddy as it is. I did really want to get a bass, and we, we are going to try. We're going to try for bass because we're going to hit the 45 mark. By five o'clock it's four right four oh five right now we're gonna hit the 45 mark i think we got about 43 right now 42 43 we're keeping 45 of these guys 15 to three different friends Okay. Whoa, this one's got a black spot on its back. It's a female, but it's got uh, the melanosis, like the bass at Mingo. Not kidding you. See? Isn't that weird? got melanosis see it all right guys this crappie has mottled melanosis it's gonna be hard to tell with the Sun but uh, it's got a real dark patch right there <laughs> non-stop isn't it look at that that's a bass. No? Crappie. Oh, you're kidding me. Here. Okay, I'd say we got 42, so if we can get three more. Yep, that's got to be what that was. Well, so we just broke even now then. All right, guys, another female. Probably the tenth female out of 50 fish. Twenty percent. Most of the females have went back out. Can you do the cooler? Big. Oh yeah! Look at that one. It's female, thirteen inch again. Full thirteen. See. Honey, 13. Oh crap. You cast it too far. Oh, 
there went my minnow. That, but why does the minnow always fall off here? And then swims away. Never falls off halfway in. Or when he attacks it. It's always at the canoe. When you have a chance to use it again. And not waste money. They always fall off. Right here. That's a big one. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Are you ever gonna let me grab you, man? Good God. Just keeps turning his head over, back and forth, from side to side. <laughs> I've never spent a minute trying to grab a crappie, but I guess today it is. God, it's about time you calm down. Lord. Yeah, look at that one. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna toss it in best I can. Real gentle. I'm not throwing them in anymore like I've been. Just sliding them in. I think maybe one more and then we don't need to put any more in there. I don't know, I mean, we got 20 minutes and then I'm wanting to start bass fishing. Get him. You got it. You got it. You got your drag too weak. It's a bass. No, it's not. You got your drag. Oh, you got four pound line though. Don't... Are you kidding me? I see the minnow on the tree. Oh, good job. We're, we got our 45 crappie now. Quit picking up the line. You can grab the hook. When you're fishing with four pound line, you gotta be careful. All right, we'll both put them in at the same time. Man. Oh. I'd say we definitely got right at 45. Oh, I'm hung up right here. Jeez. All right, let's, this will be the last one we keep right here. I seen him come up and attack it. It's neat. They're in such shallow water you can see him come over, even with this dingy water. Cause it's just the water's just barely over their backs. Okay here. Oh my. Here you go. Last one that we really need to keep. Nuh uh, it's twelve. Twelve inches. I thought you were hung up, didn't you? I thought you were hung up. Quit grabbing that four pound line. Oh, 
I'm gonna get a good picture of you again. I guess we're gonna go bass fish unless you really I don't. I like to fish more there. Stay on that tree. Is a chunk. God, it's hard to get a good picture of you. Sucks I can't zoom. Careful, you're gonna get hung. I don't even have a hook. I hopped that. I hopped that stick to get him. Man, that's bigger. A little bit, look. Doesn't it seem bigger? He's got the curvy head. It's when they start being big, when they curve like that. It's got that curvature. Oh, yeah. Nice 13 incher, guys. again got him crappie this time right against the in the grass where the grass is still sticking up out of the water Wilma look back there where that grass is couldn't be four inches deep it's I don't see how and he swallowed this hook he swallowed the hook completely swallowed he's bleeding good god I mean we have to keep this one because he ain't gonna live anyway you're hung. God, you have the worst luck. You literally just fixed it all up. And then mine swallowed the hook where I can't even get the hook out. Without doing that, he's definitely a goner. I guess I'll open the cooler because this fish ain't gonna live anyway. I had to rip the hook out. Oh, he almost fell back out. God. Another bobber and another hook. We're done. It's ridiculous. Getting out of the grass again. Guys, another female 12 inch. We're gonna start putting them back now. Oh, that wind is cold. It it's already cooling off. It's the warmest part of the day is over. The warmest part of the day was two hours ago. It's just straight cooling off now. And that wind ain't stopping. Man, that one's real. Look at the bottom of this, honey. Hold on a second. I want to show you something. Look at the bottom. This whole black, it's black, even the fins. Just charcoal.
big crappie. It didn't fight right at first. Fought more like a bass. Man, that's a weird looking one. Really cool looking one. least 70 wouldn't you say 70 fish hey, he gave me my minnow back too i get to use it that looks like he never even heard it really oh man i'm bound to get slammed back there i gotta stand up so i can see it god no small ones not like nailer Well guys, that ends our day, pretty much. We want to get out of here before we can, or while we can still see. It's gonna take us a good half hour to put everything away and the canoe on and you act surprised because there's a log. And uh, we caught about 70 crappie, so we're gonna call, go ahead and call it a day. And, uh, yeah, caught a lot of crappie. They are not in this cove at all because the wind was not blowing into it. The only time we've caught crappie in this cove was when the wind was coming in it. Bass was just a no-go today with the algae bloom in the water. It was too dingy and you cannot see all the structure. And it's just a never ending battle of getting hung. It's too early for top water. Be another couple weeks maybe, but that would have been a good option. But even if that wasn't the case, it was too windy and water's too dingy for top water. Just, uh, very tough day if we would not have had minnows we would have not caught fish the wind finally stopped after all day of 15 20 mile an hour winds it finally stopped i just wish we would have had a better chance for bass but this this water is looks like the mississippi river today it's really crazy Good picture right there. 